Hello, my name is Luis Berrocal, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how to use Django 1.4 with Eclipse. Uh, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be creating our models. Uh, you can follow me at, uh, at Luis C. Berrocal, and my uh, blog is tecnofuenteabierta.blogspot.com. Let's start by seeing uh, what we're going to use uh, in this tutorial. We're going to be using uh, uh, Eclipse 3.7 dot two indigo with the Aptana Studio 3 plugin uh, Python 2.7 uh, though I'm pretty sure it's gonna it could run with 2.6 I'm using MySQL 5.519 and MySQL work, Workbench 5.2.38 and of course uh, Django 1.4 uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our Django project. We already have opened our Eclipse uh, IDE. We're going to go in Eclipse into File, New, we're going to select Other. We're going to select PyDate Django Project. We're going to click on Next. And we're going to name our project LM underscore stats underscore site. Now we're going to keep our grammar version in 2.7 and we're going to select as interpreter. Django 2.7, uh, Python 2.7, Django 1.4, which is a virtual environment we created on our previous tutorial. I'm going to click on Next. We're not going to select anything here. We're going to click on Next. And we're going to select as our database engine MySQL. We're going to select uh, the name for our database, uh, lm underscore stats. Our host is localhost. Our port is 3306, in my case. Uh, my username is root, and my password is blank. Now we click on Finish. And as you can see, Python has created for you uh, our Django project structure. Uh, now, if we're going to do some light, uh, we're going to make some changes in our, in our settings. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check uh, that everything we set up as a database is correct. We have here the name of the database, user, or local host, or port. Now, we're going to change our time zone because to Panama, which in my case is where I live, or you may change it to wherever it is you are. And this is important because Django saves by default uh, the dates into the database as UTC. So if you don't set the correct time zones, all your dates are going to look kind of weird. Well, now we're going to save this. Click here and save. And the next thing we have to do is we need to create our database before we can uh, create our models and run uh, the sync uh, db uh, command. So we're going to open MySQL Workbench and we're going to create a new database. We're going to click here and create new schema. And we're going to name our schema lm underscore stats, which is a name we chose uh, here, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep our collection, our collection as default. And we're going to do apply. Click on apply. Apply. Okay. Close. And as you can see, here we have our LM stats uh, database. We have no tables because we haven't run our synchronize. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to hide uh, our MySQL workbench. We're going to create our application. For that, we're going to click on our project, we're going to right click on our project, we're going to select our Django here, and we're going to run create application. Click, and we're going to name our application LM Stats. We're going to click on OK. What it's going to do, it's going to create this application for you now. We have our models, our tests, and our views. No? Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to activate uh, this application. So we have here installed apps, and we have to add here 
our recently created application, which is LM stats. Add a comma here. I'm going to click on save. Well, now we're going to create our, our models. We're going to open here our models.py file. I'm going to create uh, two models. One is going to be our host group. We're going to do a class uh, host group. Um, uh, this class is going to inherit from models.model. And our first attribute is going to be name. It's going to be a character field. Models dot uh, char field. It's a character field. And include our max length, which is mandatory. Max length equal sixty. And our name must be unique, so we're going to set here unique equal true. Next, we're going to do our next class, and our next class is computer. It's going to also inherit from models. Model. And now I'm going to fast forward so you can see the final settings of all. Our are both our classes with all their attributes without you having to see me type each and every one of them. Well, now we have our two classes completed. Uh, let's see a little bit about uh, the attributes they have. Host group has name, which is a character field with a maximum length of 60. Uh, it's unique. Uh, active, which is a Boolean field. We have date created, and we have overridden the Unicode um, method. This is in the docu Django documentation. It's a recommendation they, they have. So you need to read more to take a look at the documentation. Now our computer also has a name. It has a host group, which is which is pointing to as a foreign key to the object host group. Uh, we also have an attribute active and an attribute date created. Well, so now we have our model here. Uh, now, what we're going to run now is our SyncDB in order to create the tables in the database. So for that, we're going to right-click on our project. We're going to select Django, and we're going to run SyncDB. you got to watch on your console here. It's creating different tables. These are all Django tables. Uh, these are our tables our host group and our computer table. Now it's asking you, since we don't have a super user created, it asking it's asking us if we want to create one, we're gonna type yes. We're gonna accept our default username. We're gonna type in uh, an email address, let's say Luis.usa.net. We're gonna use a password, we're gonna use Django. And Django again, and it's created all database on our super user. Let's open our SQL Workbench. We're going to right click on our refresh all so we can see our tables. Now, as you can see, it has created all our tables here, and none of these have data except our users. Let's see what we have on our users. As you can see, it has inserted a user called Luis Civerrocal, which is created. This is our super user. As you can see here, it's, it's super user. It's got a one. So uh, as far as this tutorial is concerned, we, we finished. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll be seeing you in our next tutorial. Thank you.